in a not so distant past, the once popular crab circle draw large crowds all over the world. If you Google crab circle, you will see how many people have made videos and talk highly about the crabs at crab circle. At times, dozens of vehicles could be seen lined along the side of the street as customers waited patiently for their steamed crabs, corn, roast yam, and hot soup. However, since the reopening of the location in last November, after it was closed the previous month due to vendors and sanitary practices, which went viral on social media, Crab Circle has not been the same. Less than half of its customer base has returned. Currently, there are nine stalls, but only three were occupied when the news visited the street food hotspot on Monday during lunch hour. During that time, about 15 customers stopped to purchase food for the vendors that is less than a quarter of their usual customers. One customer added that since the reopening of Crab Circle, the vendors have been selling less than a quarter of the crabs. They used to, and at times, they don't even attempt to sell because they know they will not make any money. Some vendors just come out some days and not the whole week as they are used to. Right now, the vendors are grateful for the few people that have continued to support them. These vendors are not really getting new customers. They have to rely on the support of the loyal customers, and they alone cannot carry on their business. They alone cannot let them survive. One vendor says that before the closure, she would sell like 15 dozen crab a day, but now she sell 8 dozen crab. And before that, because of that, she have lost a lot of money. The vendors have also been forced to increase the prices of their crabs from $500 per crab to $700. There are also other factors affecting their sales, such as it is not being crab season and a shortage of corn. In addition to that, vendors are selling half the amount of corn, roast yam and soup they used to, further reducing their profits. They are now feeding the homeless more than selling, as what is left over they have to give what what they have left to to uh, to the homeless people them now. Despite this spot not being what it used to be, there are crab lovers who said they will forever support the location. One such customer, customer is a Florida woman who felt that she had to stop at Crab Circle to purchase six crab for care back of Florida less than two hours before her 3 p.m. flight to get back home. And according, she said, the place is clean, so why not buy? She said they were eating it before. This happened, and now that the place improved, she don't see why people are not supporting the Crab Circle people. Now, where is Alice? No, because she was hoping she would have made it back to Crab Circle. But even without her, the spot has been tarnished. Just thinking of what really happened there, some people do not have the stomach for it. This, however, might change with time, but for now, Right now, the vendor should not expect anything more. They just have to be patient and hope for the best and hope that with time, people will forget what Alice did and don't use Alice fat to fry all the other vendors and go back. If them love crab, they should go back and support these people. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you
guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below